Alrighty. Mr. Wolf. Ooh. Ooh. Level 34. That is... Ooh. That is scary. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me in Soul Mask. Um, what are you doing, Alpaca? Hey, get back here. So, are you guys all... Oh, yeah, they're all... Um, I gotta reassign them, but yeah, that automatically reassigns the alpaca, at least. Let's pull these out for now. Um, yeah, faster this way. Tabitha, Barbara Ann, Cannon Fodder. Alright, Barbara Ann, uh, Tabitha, man, and Cannon Fodder. Right, so that's those three. They should be following. Alpaca. Are you... We'll just ride the alpaca for now. Where are we heading? So, yeah. Alright, now that we got everybody collected and they're not going to run off or anything. So, yeah, last time we made it to here, which is right where we're at, right by the camp. I just, yeah, went over here and logged out so that we'd be right here and we could continue on. Because that's what... I don't think we're ready to go over here yet. I want bronze armor, realistically, at least on you know one or two of us. So let's head up this way. Because I imagine heading straight this way. I mean, we could check it out. We need to hunt more alligators, but of course it's freaking stormy as crap <laughs> on Q. Uh, is there... Oh, and there's an anaconda right there. Is that... That is, might be the anaconda. No? I guess there's just anacondas around here. Oh, did the anacondas... What did, have we been getting... So we've been getting that? Yeah, from the alligators. Anaconda skin gives you that into premium leather, but this into thick leather. That's what we need. So we don't really so much need the anacondas yet. Um, I got puppies wanting to come in, but there's an anaconda right there. Oh, it's dangerous. Uh, you need one second. All right, are we safe? I think we're safe. Yeah, anaconda's still over there. These guys still over there. So it's a good spot. Um, we could go through the river, I suppose. Oh wait, no, we don't want to go through the river. We want to head... Can we even head that way? It's like this way we gotta go, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we can try going this way. There's just a big old hill in the way. And there was that anaconda over there that's probably back since we... Well, yeah, since it's a, a new session. But yeah, we can get over this. Just gotta be on the lookout, because anacondas can be almost anywhere. Apparently so can bush dogs. You gotta have a friend too, I'm sure. Oh come on, that was right in the heart. Oh, there's his friend. Oh. There we go. That's some shield practice. Are you guys You're supposed to be on assist. That was not very assisting. bones and stuff is never... Oh, now they come in threes, is it? Or is this a, a whole other pack of bush dogs? Oh, come on. I had to take his spine out. Yeah, do you have a friend? <laughs> now the other dog wants out. Um, well, they're dead. He's like, Alright, there we go. Um, so, I kind of wonder what the dogs think. Because, I swear, they're napping right up until I start recording. And it's like I'm talking. They must think it's a phone call of some kind. They're like, oh, it's those long phone calls that he does. <laughs> so, let's go do our own thing now. Um, oh, is our alpaca following us? What What happened? Oh, dang it. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I accidentally hit the tilde key. Where's our alpaca? There he is. Or she. This one's the girl. Alright, yeah, this way. Are we still heading in the right direction? Uh, no, we need to go more this way. That's so dark, though. Do I have a lamp on me? I think I do. Yeah. Go ahead and use the lamp. Just because that way I don't have to brighten it up in post so much. Although, this is still pretty darn dark. Oh, tapers are alright. Yeah, this is why you don't want them on active, because they will attack the tapers, like, the the parrots, the turkeys, I mean, like, literally everything. They just mow through the whole jungle. So, 
it gets a little tedious, is the only thing. The boar is going to attack. I don't like how they dismount, like how the camera gets forced to looking like beside the alpaca. Whoa. Oh, dang. That was a bad shot. Oh, he kept, he turned. He was bobbing and weaving. He's probably gone now, too. There we go. That's the way you do it. I mean, we're just gonna have to fight that other one in a minute anyway. So, what is over here? There's nothing so far. Because you can find stuff, even if you get the, like, the map cleared. There's still, yeah, see, like this right here, I don't think. That's not on our map, is it? Oh no, we're heading back. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Forgot where the heck I was going. That's the problem with going places in the dark. We're just back to the tapers. No good way around this dang hill. No, not really, huh? Not with the alpaca. You can climb it. So is it going to be shorter? Yeah, maybe that's a little ramp. It's got to be it, right? I mean... Oh, there... Oh, a small pit. That's what that is? That is... Copper. But I don't really want copper right now. I want to way up this cliff. But I don't see a way to get the alpaca up. Except maybe... Um... Yeah, can we do it? Does it regen? Or respawn? Uh, behavior settings... Action settings... Follow. And then, if we climb... Yeah, can we climb? Ooh. I don't know if we can even climb this. It's just so sheer. Like, there's nowhere... You, you have to rest places. Oh, that's serious. Dang. So you gotta come from this side, probably, huh? What it looks like to me, anyway. Well, then. Huh. I mean, I suppose with enough stamina it could be done. But I don't think I have that kind of stamina yet. And I don't know if any of my people do either. Yeah, that's huge. We have a tough time getting, like, to the top of this little bulge here right now. Well, now we could do that alright, but, like, that next one up there... Yeah, like right there. It's probably as far as we could climb, and I don't see... I mean, I guess this is probably the best. There's like some resting spots, so let's give it a whirl. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you gotta kinda, like, hit uh, the jump button, spacebar, you know, most people have it set to, but to grab on once you're in there. Like, if you just jump and push forward... Oh, I guess that works too, huh? Let me eat something, though. I didn't even realize. Oh, we're running low on food, are we? Oops. There we go. Yeah, so we might need to go... Oh, I saw a ledge up here, didn't I? Oh, this side. Yeah. Ooh. Gonna have enough stamina... Oh, yeah. You just gotta be careful of these sorts of spots. Because they can be... Trick... Like, they can trick you into thinking they work when they don't. Ooh. Ooh. I thought that was my bad. We got enough to get up here, though. Yeah, and they should... I'm just... I don't know about the alpaca. If the alpaca will also spawn up to me up here. Yeah, this is a one heck of a climb. Oh, I can't stop here? Oh, no. Ooh. That was bad. Why did I fall? I don't know. So, <laughs> you didn't know it was a climbing simulator game, did you? Come on, give me somewhere. It, it let me stop there, but I don't, I'm scared of dropping back down. Here we go. There, all right. All right, there we go. This is nice and flat. <clears throat> you could even take a nap up here if you needed to. Yeah, I still hit spacebar. Um, you can, <laughs> yeah, okay, so the alpaca does. Alright, good. But you guys, that was my resting spot, and you all just freaking spawned in there, like, thanks a bunch. 
Don't you spawn up on this one. I need this one. <laughs> but yeah, space bar is the main thing that you can hear. Obviously, it's the biggest button and the one I hit with the most force, usually. Um, four. All right. We can take on some boar. Although we should really be using a spear, probably. When you're going after boar in real life. I mean, obviously a gun nowadays, but back in the day before guns, a spear was the best way. And you'd use a shield and armor probably usually as well if you had it. Oh, hey. No running. Oh, I led him too much. And I'm bouncing. Yep, I suck. <laughs> Are you coming back? Nope, he's not coming back. Oh. Alright, dogs, hang on. I swear I'm gonna end up dying because I'm um, going to get the dogs in or out or something. Yep, and there they go whining. Now they want to play. They were just going down for a nap. <laughs> we were just playing. They did miss their walk because it was raining. All right, where am I heading? Yeah, we are kind of pointing the right way. We want to go... This... Ah, grass is in the way. Um... Still can't really get up. Well, I guess it's a whole lot better than before. Not just... Sheer cliff. Although it does look kind of out of bounds-ish, doesn't it? Oh, wolves! Wolves are new. Oh, so it's a new biome. It's not out of bounds. Alrighty. Mr. Wolf. Ooh. Ooh. Level 34. That is... Ooh. That is scary. That is way scary. Um, I don't know if we're ready for wolves yet. To be totally honest with you. Did he get glitched or got knocked out? Alright. Okay, I think what that means is we're not supposed to be here yet. Because <laughs> two wolves almost took out freaking four of us without too much issue. So that's not so good. I think I should head on back to where I belong <laughs> at the moment. Because they're level 34, my main character is level 36. And everybody else is like level tw yeah, 20, 17, 18. So, no, we're not ready for this area yet. So I will see you guys. Um, well, I suppose we can head on over the bridge here. We haven't been up here because I also have been looking, um, I think Red13 mentioned in comments and also over on the Discord, which I need to actually add Soul Mask to. I don't think I remembered to add Soul Mask yet and I was kind of, I don't know, forgot about it. Nobody was using it. So I got to get back on that this weekend, probably. Um, but yeah, so... When I did some research, it's saying that this area, kind of right here, I believe, is got a lot of aloe. There's a couple other, I think over here maybe, and over here, but like this general area, I think is where it was saying to look, but mostly everybody's saying right here, kind of south of this barbarian barrack. So we can kind of head over that way, because we have passed by this one before, just like the entrance, I think, but not over this uh, and I want to check this thing out this rock bridge or whatever it is stone bridge, natural stone bridge hopefully it'll be daytime by then um, yeah but we should heal up and yeah I, after those wolves I'm like let's go back to the anacondas like jeez <laughs> so yeah um, I'll see you guys what is that oh I forgot to chop up a boar did I whoops strong what knives but yeah I'll see you guys there's another boar over there oh jaguar um, we'll go with this, because he's already seen us. Oh, are you a big boy? He's a pretty big boy. Um, yeah, let's get out of there for a second, because he's stunned, it seems, so... Ooh. What's that? Oh, is the music just late, or is there another jaguar? The music is late. Okay. <laughs> like... Better be music being late. That one was black, wasn't it? I think that one was black. So you get both kinds of jaguars. Maybe I should just give up and go back to the dual blades. 
I don't know, but I will see you guys at the, the next Jaguar attack or anything. I guess that was our welcome back to the area where we belong in. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. Well, we made it to that stone bridge thing, but unfortunately, well, it is morning. It's still uh, before sunrise. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'll clean this up in post a bit so you guys can get a better look at it than I can. It's seeming pretty foggy out there. And a little more barren than I was expecting. I mean, it, it does look like stone on the map, so it's probably pretty hard to grow stuff on stone. But I was hoping for a better view. Maybe in the light it's a better view. I mean, looks like it's looks kind of cool. You're looking down on the Amazon basin, essentially, down there. Imagine it's the same on both. Oh yeah, it opens up more because that's... Which way is it flowing? It'd be flowing out that way, right? I think. What's that? Kind of looks like ruins down there. And that one for sure. Nothing popped up though. Yeah. Yes. We're not close enough to discover it or something. Or else it's just, I don't know, a very straight edged rock for some reason. Whoa. It's a little treacherous around here. Be careful. Maybe rock hopping on your alpaca. What is this? It's very shiny. This snow. Or is it just a different kind of rock? Can't really tell because the light's all weird. Is it a frozen waterfall? Oh, it's supposed to be a frozen waterfall? Maybe? Kinda it looks like. But either way, we can't get that away. Well, maybe I could climb it. So now we're stuck over here, are we? Unless we can get down this way. Are they saying we have to go down the waterfall? Guess we kind of have to go around, huh? Oh, yeah, they're going down, I suppose. Can we? Looks pretty sheer over on that side. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about that, guys. They're all going ho about it. But I don't think I like it. I think I'd rather go up that way and have you guys spawn up to me. That sounds like a better plan to me. Oh, maybe it's when you have your weapons drawn. You have to push the jump button to let it know that you want to put your weapons away and climb. Don't know. I really need to actually sit down and read the manual. <laughs> or, you know, at least some stuff before I... Just gung ho into things, but that's not how I just gung ho into things. Whoa, that's just what I do. It's like, yeah, I should be able to stand here. And then this looks like maybe a ledge right here, a little pointy bit right there. Looks like we can possibly get a little toe on it. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, not that one. Uh, well, we might have enough stamina to get all the way up here. I guess I do underestimate how much stamina I've accumulated. I just haven't really done much climbing since setting up a base. You know, before I set up a more permanent... Did they all just spawn and die? Hopefully they don't get fall damage from that. They should have their fall damage alleviated for just that reason. For that reason. Whoa! I think it alleviates your fall damage too if you grab on to the, the rock as you're falling. Whoa! Which is very kind of the developers <laughs> but the the climbing yeah is a little glitchy especially yeah with the followers they really need to fix whatever like i don't know wait until you're on a, a ledge or whatever or something with a enough area like here you know it could spawn them at this point that would make more sense should i be down there it seems like maybe i should be down there <laughs> that's usually oh yeah, I should either be down there or up here. But I didn't see a way to get up here. Like, we came across this thing. There wasn't any... I didn't see any, like, ladder going up. I figured there would be. Like, even a natural one, you know? But, yeah. This seemed like the only way to really get up there to me. Yeah, climb. Ooh. Yeah, then the, sometimes there's those ones where it doesn't really look like you should be climbing. or standing. But, yeah, for some reason... 
Oh, <laughs> bye alpaca. Oh, I hope you don't get hurt. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I do kind of prefer this method over enshrouded. Uh, enshrouded, the only way to climb is by digging, digging steps. You know, basically like Minecraft, but um, not as blocky. But similar, because you can't actually climb. What's that down there? That looks like ruins down there. Ruins with nobody in... Oh, there is a jaguar. He can't figure out how to get to us, though. He's like, you should not be up there. Ooh. For, oh, you're elite. <laughs> well, I kind of like that he's down there, stuck, and very glitched out, because that is a scary amount of damage he's just tanking, and he's like, whatever, uh, oh, oh, ow, he figured out how to get up there, <laughs> I guess maybe they have like a cheat thing, so you can't just sit there and cheat them, oh, oh, He's, he's like a boss boss like that, so he can't come up here for other reasons. Okay, so we're going to have to go down to him if we want to fight him. But, yeah, he gets healed up, so I'm going to get healed up too. It's only fair. Uh, we're going to have to, yeah, go down over here somewhere so we're not, like, in his line of sight anymore. I think he's level 16. What ha oh, there's Tabitha. I'm like, Tabitha better not be dead. Oh crap, he's right there. Um. Yeah. He's all glitched out, though. Maybe if we walk away a little bit. Can we scan you? Oh, we can mark them? That's way better. Yeah, but he's all glitched out. <laughs> um. Do we have to hold it down? Mark, unmark. Oh, I see. It's just a little arrow on top. It's not like the other, the, like, highlighting. I'm going to, yeah, try and walk away a bit more, see if he will reset a bit. Yeah, if they respawn, then maybe, like, a couple times I'll let them respawn. And then, well, this would be kind of a cool area to do, like, an evil genius base. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this. If you just, you know, had some way to get resources to it. So obviously there's no resources at all up here. I don't think you can even mine this rock. Maybe later you get equipment to mine this kind of rock, but right now we certainly don't have any. But that's one heck of a view. And then if you had a glider, dang. Yeah, there's the bridge. So that's almost a better view of it anyway. Alright, this is a perfect screenshot, and that, that'll give him time to... Uh, yeah, to... Ooh, look at that pool over there. That wouldn't be... A, is that a pool? Yeah, it's gotta be, right? That is... Is that up behind? Where the heck is that? Oh no, that's just the rock. It looks just looks kind of shiny from this angle. It's very foggy. I don't know what it looks like in the post. I'll try and clean it up, but yeah. To me, it's, it's very foggy. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. Alright. Now, we can get on with it. Where'd that jaguar go? We're gonna die, aren't we? I should probably put down... Oh, you know what I should do? Put out my freaking lantern. Because they're probably yelling at me this whole time. It's like an old lady with her blinker on in front of you. <laughs> I thought it auto-turned off. Yeah, where are you at? He should be over here somewhere. We probably want our shield on. I, I wish I had my bronze with me. But I left it back at the base just in case I died. Well, the alpaca just blazed on... Oh, he's right there. So, oh, can we not get him from this distance? Nope, I guess not. Not until we can yep, get him with that. Well, I suppose we should hit him with some arrows. At least one. Are you guys? You're going to help, right? Oh, he can't go that far away, huh? He's got to be right in here. Are you still glitched out? Ooh. Yeah, you can't block that, apparently. Oh, okay. Run, 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 run. <laughs> yes, I see he's coming for me, but I don't know that I can survive anything except running away right now. Ooh, insufficient stamina. Yeah, I figured as much. Is he... He's right there. Okay. Ah, we're not ready for him yet.
I don't know what's going on with him. But, oh no, that's not him. That's a taper. He, we ditched him. Everybody's alive. Okay, I feel like that is an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's him. Beast Lair, Elite Jaguar. Yeah, we're not ready for the Elite Jaguar yet. Definitely not. <laughs> not without bronze. Maybe with bronze. But we'll just leave him be for now. Um, can I use another bandage? Yeah, I think it says up in the right hand corner, doesn't it? If it's, yeah, when the effects are active. Gotta pay more attention to that. I figured it just stacks. Shouldn't it just stack? I mean, you just wrap more bandages on it. Like, you got on the left arm, on the right arm, you got two legs you can bandage up. Like, come on now. It's like all those games with magic rings and you can only wear one. It's like, man, if there was a world where there were magic rings, I'd have, like, just stacks of rings on every finger. <laughs> like, every single magic ability that I could freaking get. Why wouldn't you? I mean, some games explain it. They're like, oh, well, the magic interferes, you know. And it's like, yeah, but then you can enchant your armor, so you can't really make that argument, because wouldn't the ring interfere with the armor or the helmet that's enchanted or whatever? No, they're just lazy. They don't want you to have that many slots. They don't want you to roleplay that much. Although, yeah, we're like D&D, &D, where most roleplaying games get their their base rule set from. Like, that's not really allowed either. I think you're allowed two rings, at least, in D&D. &D. Maybe it's up to five per hand. Or maybe it's just five. Maybe you're only allowed to wear them on one hand or something. I don't remember. It's been years and years since I played D&D. &D. I need to keep my eye out for aloe too. Okay, so wait, this kind of looks like aloe. Is that aloe? Because that certainly looks like aloe. It says E. M. Tained fiber. Aloe flower. Haha. -ha. I did find aloe. Finally. Okay, I know what it looks like now, but yeah, that's dang small. Aloe can grow pretty large. Okay, I need a lot of this stuff. I hope we can grow it. Is there seeds? Or is there a way to make seeds? But either way... So that's what they were saying, is that it's around the barbarian base, which is... yeah. I kinda... I mean, it's probably around over here too. It's just it's so small that around here there's less foliage, so you can see it easier. I think that is probably more what it comes down to. And yeah, like this stuff kinda looks like it. Like sometimes the grass, you're like, yeah, like this right here kind of looks like it. So after a while, you know, it just all becomes green blur stuff on the ground, and you just go through it hacking with your your scythe, and you never really pay attention. And I don't think you can scythe the aloe. You have to actually, you know, collect it with E. All right, where the heck am I? I'm just kind of wandering at this point. We need to go this way. I'm trying to get home too because we're running low on food and bandages. This is kind of just the, the journey home and for aloe, I guess, and um, just hunting various things and getting <laughs> my butt handed to me. That was not the button. I was trying to push this button. Well, my brain wanted to push this button, but it failed <laughs> its message to my finger, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be trekking on through the jungle as usual. Is everybody still here? Everybody's still here. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys at the next thing. So what is it with the monkeys? There's a way to tame them. I've seen, I've not watched the videos, but I've seen videos on it pop up in my feed. We'll take all, oh, we can't take all? We're full of stuff. That's why we brought an alpaca. Uh, um, I guess we'll just do that. There is a way to not have to, like, hold that down and you can just you know, click E and enter the items thing, but I don't know how to do it. That does, probably didn't make any sense. Now that I'm thinking, I'm like sitting here trying to think about clicking buttons and um, talking at the same time. It's a bad idea. All right, what was all monkey monkey treasure? Where'd the monkey treasure go? You guys are standing right on top of it. Now we can fit it all. Okay, thank you, monkeys. I will hopefully befriend you one day and make one of you my pets. And if they are allowed to sit on my shoulder, they shall sit on my shoulder. Because nothing is a whole lot better than a shoulder monkey. At least in a video game. I don't think I would want to do it in real life, because monkeys, they kind of stink. I mean, you can keep them cleaned, I'm sure. But also, they're just a lot of work. 
It's like having a permanent toddler. You know? Like, even worse than a... Like, dogs are enough work. They're almost as bad as a, a permanent toddler. But monkeys, they got, you know, opposable thumbs and tails. So they can grab a lot better stuff. Um, so did I, um, get cotton seeds? Aloe flower. Is that the same as a seed? I'm thinking it is, because I don't think aloe really has seeds. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure I, I'm not a botanist by any means. I mean, I, I like botany and that kind of stuff. Plants and things growing, you know, your own food. I enjoy it, but I'm certainly not an expert and not even, like, very <laughs> well versed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just started rambling, didn't I? That's kind of how it goes sometimes. Oh, man, come on. That was a headshot. So, holes to the right, maybe. There we go. Oh, I should probably check if any of you are worthwhile. And yeah, you, skilled warrior. Ooh, hang on. I think it said novice. Oh, skilled warrior, outcast. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Oh, man, I almost had him. All right, and you, novice, of course. And he's got, oh, he's got the red thing. So, well, yeah, they're all recruitable. Well, some of them are not, I guess. There's another alpaca. We don't need another alpaca, though. No, I don't really want anybody. We just got two new people. We haven't really figured out where they fit yet. And you guys are not good enough. We need to get more specific sort of people at this point. I think we've got enough just regular old people. We can leave basically everybody we've got now. We can just leave at camp once we get decent people. You know, more specified people. And I need to get some more farmland going. Should I? No. And I need to build a toilet, apparently. I didn't really even realize that there were toilets in the game. So, yeah, from here... Yeah, we're not gonna... I don't know. We're not gonna want anybody from these places, I don't think. We're probably just gonna want people from the actual barbarian camps. Although, this one's way closer. Is, is it? No, there... I mean, it's across a river, so I guess it's further. And it's across a river. Um, so yeah, sorry little alpaca, but you are going to stay here. I have enough of your brethren already. Okay, um, oh, was there, no, we got the chest here. Is there another chest in these? I think these places, there's just the one chest. But, I always like to check to be sure. You never know, they might add something. It's an early access game, so keep an eye out for stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will see you guys at the next thing. Whoa. Dang. I didn't even see the next thing. It popped up on me. Yeah, see, these jaguars are smaller. Well, I guess that one was an elite, but we did kill that other big black one. So I guess, like, these are not the kind you ride. That big black one we killed is more the kind you ride. I should have opened up the thing. What? Oh. Does it just do that when you open it? I think it... Yeah. It does do the same noise as if you're getting attacked. That's, why do they do that? Yeah, I don't like it. Pick a new noise. <laughs> Cause that, every time I open that up, I think something else is attacking me. There we go. Um, yeah, that was a Jaguar. How far are we? We're still pretty far, aren't we? Not that far, 400 meters. Yeah, we got another, oh, copper. We needed copper along the way. This one is copper. We're gonna hit that up. Yeah, shortcut. Yeah, we're gonna hit copper up on the way because we have the alpaca with us. We got the tin back already, so that way we can get some bronze going. Because apparently we can't get much further than where the map is already open to. Whoa! Man, I should have healed up a little more. But at least these jaguars I can block. <laughs> Dang. They're sneaking up this grass. They hide very well in the grass. That's a very, I don't know, well done sort of mechanic. Yeah, it's just the right height for them to sneak up on you. And they come from the side. And yeah, unless you come right up on them face first, you're going to get mauled. Ooh, what? What? 
What's it? Oh, these are the, the Jaguar, the Prince. So, yeah, later we'll learn how to do something with that. And following the Prince, you follow him back to the mother, I suppose, is how that works. Like, there's two. Does this give you two? Yeah, I forget what it said. I think you follow them backward. So, yeah, they point that way, but you go to where they came from. I don't know. I'm going to look more into it, because we can't do it. You need, a, like, a trap, like a special trap, I think, and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, can't really, But in case you're wondering, these right here, if you're looking for that kind of thing, right here. So... Yep, there's that barbarian, the Claw Tribe barrack, and then portal, and then it's this river right here. So right in that area. I don't know if they always spawn in the same spots, but if they, you know, this is an area that they do spawn in that you can look in. If that's something... Whoa! You're looking for... Oh, crap! I saw that, but I was blocking already. Alright. This is what you get. Oh, I was late to the party, wasn't I? <laughs> Oh well, we need more alligators, actually. Because, yeah, we need that for our, um, uh, what you call it? Armors. Did you, there. I don't know why my fingers can't find the correct button today. Probably because I have fat fingers. Not really. They just act fat. They, they aren't, but maybe they're just dumb. Freaking A. Would you? All right. Yeah, just hit him with a sword. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. <laughs> He's quick. All right, a little earlier. Now. Oh, that was so close. And now. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> yep, I got him. There he is. That's one way to get a fish. I mean, the, the rednecks have noodling. You know, I think they call it noodling, where they go and they go you know, catch the fish with their bare hands. You just stick your fish in and get the, you know, the catfish bite on your hand, and you just grab it, pull it out. But we use swords. Oh, there's some book I read. What was it? Or maybe it was an anime. Some story. They all get mixed up because I, I, yeah, watch too much different stuff and read too many different things. <laughs> but yeah, they, they were. Oh, it was a book. Yeah, and uh, uh, what was it called? The uh, Cycle of Golan, or like Cycle of Golan? I think something like that. What was I going for up here? Oh yeah, this thing. It's down. It's down over here, I believe. But yeah, these two boys, they get like kicked out of town. It doesn't look like a good way. Yeah, I guess over there is easier. And they have a sword with them, so they have to learn how to fish with a sword. That was the most chopped up story I've ever. Uh, or no, maybe the cycle, cycle of Iran is the first one. Cycle of Golond is the second series written by the author. I don't know if it's a prequel or a, or a sequel, but either way, it's like a long, it's like a whole series of books. It's like six books, I think, or something. But it's a good series if you're into that kind of fantasy sort of world. It's a little dark, but it's good. And it's not like you know, super dark, not like gory or anything. Now, how do we get back up from here, I wonder? I guess we climb, but it's going to be rough, because climbing up, it takes more energy, I think, than climbing down. And, well, I suppose the alpaca will just spawn with all of our stuff. And that looks like the cave over there, so I did pick the right spot to go down. I mean, as far as the location of where I'm trying to get to, whether or not it's the right spot, um when you're thinking about <laughs> getting back out or not dying on the way down. Yeah, it looks like we had just enough stamina to get down without dying. Perfect. Is anybody down here? I'm sure there's somebody in here. We got bush dogs. Hey, we got a friend. Nice. Means the rest should be coming sometime. And you can have an arrow for breakfast. That didn't do a whole lot. I was hoping it would do more than that. No such luck. There we go. Ooh, blade proficiency is up to 32. That's, uh, well, I guess it's better than it was. I don't know if that's really that good, but 
<laughs> I think uh, what's her max on weapons now is 90, I think, on the main. I do need to start working with more of the uh, tribes people just to get them up to a decent level. Is there more in here? Yeah, there's got to be more in here. Let's just clear this out first. And then I can mine to my heart's content. Seems like the way to do it. Oh, there, yeah. You can see those ones first, but there's... So is this set up? I think it's set up the same way as the other one. That's a little unfortunate that they didn't um, have different setups they could do. Hello. Uh, can I get some help? Uh, did I not heal? I think I forgot to heal after the first set. Oh, did we call a bunch of them? There was three. Or no. Did... No, there was three. Okay. Thought so. I was like, I thought we killed two, and then there was one still attacking. So did we bring one over from elsewhere, or where'd, where'd that one come from? I don't know. There. Yeah, I guess he came from over there with his buddy. It's so weird to chop through an alpaca to butcher a bush dog. That's just... I guess we'll go with bows. I know, I can never decide which weapon. Everybody's probably like, just pick a freaking weapon already. <laughs> Sorry. I, plus I push the wrong button all the time. I'm trying to do it by feel, and then it, it acts all slow sometimes. Um, oh, this guy sees us, but he can't get to us? What's going on with you? You're broken. Yeah, this guy's a little broken. He was stuck in a corner. That was an issue. I can't path out of this corner. Somebody come help me. Ooh. Yeah, somebody come help me, too. Oh, dang. Yeah, really, really, somebody come help me. Man, I can't even help Oh, it's an elite push dog in there. Uh, we'll do cannon fodder. Yeah, let's do it. We're, we might lose all these guys right now. Where is he? Oh, oh crap. Am I, I'm, like, stuck here, too. I can't move. That's the, the worst part. Oh, dang. And can I respawn yet? What's going on here? Um, Tabitha Barbarian. Yeah. It's, Tabitha is better as a uh, follower. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well, that sucks. So who died? Cannon fodder. All right. Well, <laughs> that was inevitable. <laughs> Uh, luckily the alpaca didn't die, so that's good. Um, ah, that's, yeah, all your stuff's broken. Oh, hang on, let me deal with it. Is that all of them? Hang on. That's got to be the last of them, right? Yeah, okay. Give me a second to divvy up all this stuff. All right, I got all the stuff, so all that's left is, yeah, a bit of crap, so I don't care about that. So now all that's left is to mine up all this copper. Because that is a ton of copper. So I'm going to get to that. Luckily, I've got a few pickaxes between all these people who died. So I'll see you in a second. Well, that's interesting. The cave just disappeared. And it's raining inside the cave. Or is it just the lighting changed? I think the lighting just changed. Something weird happened. Oh, that's right. They said they fixed in the patch that the lighting in the cave, like, it's still like you're, um, outside. So apparently, something just broke that, uh, when I scanned it. Like, I don't know how, just, I've been scanning inside this cave a ton. But just that one is like, nope, that's the last straw. There goes the friggin', um, whatever patch that they did to fix the cave. So, yep, still just mining away over here. Getting a little full, though, so it shouldn't be long. Alright, looks like I've cleared the place out, except for, oh, a bush dog. M. Well, it's just a regular level 22 bush dog, so... Whoops. Oh, you don't have the same abilities, huh? I guess I should have known that. People don't have the same abilities. And, yeah, I forgot that I was not the same person that I normally am. Um, no, not that one. We want this one. Yeah, I need to set some different stuff on there. I've got like two broken sides on for whatever reason because yeah tab oh um 
Oh, this is Barbara Ann. Oh, there's more over here. So this is a different entrance? I think this is a different entrance. Yeah, because I got the stuff at the entrance. Or did I, no, I missed the stuff at the entrance. Never mind. Yeah, this is... So that guy, we were just far enough away that that one respawned. And now we're... Yeah. Back out. But there we go. Okay, as long as there's not another one. I think there wasn't any, like, out front. It's just the ones inside. But yeah, there's definitely some ore on the outside. So we should have, with this and the tin, we got... Whoa. Oh, it broke. No, it didn't. What's going on? What just happened there? What was the tonk and then, like, it all went away? Like, it flashed? That was weird. I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, it, like, dropped my my pickaxe, like, out of my hand. Was that, like, a, a failed swing? Like, oops, I dropped it. I mean, she only just went up to, like, level 25 or 6 or something. So that is kind of unfortunate, but I guess Tabitha probably would have been a better one to go with. He has probably done more mining. Man, it's so rainy this episode. Like, the whole episode has been raining pretty much. It stopped for a minute in the cave, <laughs> but yeah, now it's back to... Oh, are we out? Yeah, it's very intermittent sometimes, though. Oh, it's doing lightning. Has it done lightning before? I guess it has. I just haven't really paid much attention. I haven't really been out in a rainstorm since the very beginning. I guess, yeah, I remember even in the very beginning. Uh, yeah, so we are full. You are getting full, too. Right? Yeah, he's... I mean, he's not full full. What does this do? Yeah, that's about all he can take. And then we'll drop the stones, because we can get those at home. Then we're good to go. We've got everything we need, I believe. Oh, we can put on... A, what you who's it called this one right there and I don't know an axe sure at least it <laughs> you know has some durability left but yeah that's almost done for what happened to the other one well I guess we used it all up okay this might be yeah um, slackerella's the, our main but that's gonna be the end of this episode everybody <laughs> um, I know it was a little bit less I don't know intensive than most of them, but we did have a surprise elite. It was only an elite bush dog, but we did kill an elite. So I guess that's something. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all ever so much, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye.